So today on the tech source, we're not reviewing this, and we're reviewing this. No. The Intel 651. Yes. No. The Intel stock CPU cooler. Yes, we're reviewing the stock Intel CPU cooler. We're not. The Phoenix Spectre rear fan. Yeah, the rear fan that's in this case. No the water cooling holes. Yes. No. We're so ref... Don't get your fingers stuck in them again. No, it didn't get stuck. Anyways, today, we are reviewing the long-awaited Intel Core i7 3770. The unboxing. The unboxing. Yo, what did I say review? You said unboxing. Yes, we're you unboxing. Said re you said review. We're unboxing it. Yes. Today. As I said today, we're not reviewing this, but reviewing... Not, why am I saying reviewing? We're unboxing this, not... Unboxing this because it's already out of box and built and Dave reviewed it and we said it was awesome. It is awesome. And um, so we have the 3770 which is Ivy Bridge. We're very excited about. And we bought it and I didn't think it was out at the time but I guess it's out. Somehow we went unnoticed. Bought it with our own money. Moonies. Just for you the viewers. So I'm gonna break the factory seal. Oh, let's see what Intel says on the side of the box. It says it's a four-core processor, eight-way hyper-treading processing, Intel Turbo Boost Technology 2.0. Oh, wait, multitasking processing, I meant. Intel hyper-treading here technology, smart cache technology, integrated memory controller, supports two-way DDR3 memory, three-year warranty, and Intel HD 400 graphics. Cool story, bro. Because you can totally play Crisis on Intel HD gra gra graphics. Graphics. And um, it says this is a processor on the back of the box. And um, here on the side is the S spec. It has an eight meg cache. I'm gonna go ahead and say what the viewers are saying. Open the damn box. It doesn't want to come out. Okay. Anyways, and it also runs at 3.4 gigahertz and it's 95 watts per. So you want to see the manual? That's the fun part. And you're paying $300 for that sticker. Yes, you are. And um, here's the awesome stock cooler. Super thin, and um, don't use this. I, I think Intel pretty much gives that cooler with everything now. They haven't really? changed it. It's so thin now. My eyes, so my 930 was thicker. Yeah. Um, so you, you guys didn't come here to watch this video, so um, see you later. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's take up the processor. Control. Um, so here's the problem. I'm not going to take it out of here, but the processor does say... Um, let's see if I can zoom in on this here. And then just push and hold the shutter button to focus. No kidding. Is that how we do it? Yeah, that's how we do it. There we go. So there it is. It says three. Does it say three point four gigahertz on the bottom of on it? It says made in Malaysia. It says it's a thirty seven seventy. And uh, yeah. So it's right there, and it's got tons of uh, pins on the bottom that are actually not pins. The pins are on the CPU. And uh, that's our thirty seven seventy. Our new review bench PC. Uh, that's what this will be going for. So we're we'll putting this in. We don't have our motherboard yet. It'll be uh, MSI. I think we're gonna go with an MSI GD65. I've heard it's really good, so we'll let you guys know. So we were reviewing this in the future with. If I well, at the at the point of this video, all I have, the only motherboard I have that works is this one in here, and we'll be doing an SLI GTX 480s. On that, so that's the, that'll be the uh, the tech source PC. But we won't have the SLIs out for a while. So one of the one of the SLI one of the 480s are my buddy's PC. So yep, there you guys go. That's our unboxing of it. So stick around, watch more tech source videos. This is our new I Ivy Bridge chip we bought and we love it so far. So bam. remember thumbs up.